All right, hey guys, I'm going to show you guys how to earn real quick golden tea uh, coins there. Uh, I'm going to go into Hawaii. This is the easiest course, Hawaii front, to do this nine hole challenge. And we're going to come in here and take a look. Um, we're going to utilize three of these. So you're going to see the experience boost, the silver coins boost, and also the equipment boost. So for $3, we can essentially really develop our account. So I've done this so far three times. So I've spent $9. And you can see, you know, the balls that I've, or the clubs that I've been able to essentially reach by being able to do this. Now, keep in mind, I was playing, you know, free to play up until level 20 but through these level 20s to 29 um, I've been essentially just grinding these out and you'll see that I can do this um, rather quickly um, and use these boosts so right now I have a little bit of time so I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys about what it is that I'm doing so I'm just going to go ahead I'm not going to use my balls or anything but we're just going to Put one out here and play because this first hole doesn't really matter from a fairway perspective. The green, I'm going to essentially just get myself ready up here on the green. So I'm going to just try to take my time a little bit more and try to dial this in somewhere along the lines of this. And it looks like I overplayed the wind. But you can see speed wise coming in good good chance for me to now here you can see um, now we're getting to hold two this is where we're going to start to want to use these power-ups so this is where i'm going to go to the boost and i'm going to take a lot take advantage of that so you guys can start my timer now because this is essentially you know one full rounds worth of play that we can essentially do so if you're paying attention to this video after I have these one tap bide, I'm just going to do this real quick. This is the slowest part of the whole thing <laughs> is just paying the three dollars. <throat> Usually takes about 30 seconds to get it going. So I do start mm -hmm. to lose just a tiny bit of that time on those first two. And that's why I purchased the equipment last is to make sure that I'm using because what this does is it's going to give me all the balls and everything. So here you can see I did three star boosts. Now I'm going to play speed golf. So here you're going to see it's going to give me these level two boosts. And I'm essentially just going to try to get it up one to the green. We're going to play greens and green, fairways and greens. If we miss, we're going to essentially pull back and do mulligans. Mulligan after mulligan. And we'll just come back in here. And it looks like I missed it again. It's fine, I guess. Um, it's ideal if you can make your putts not waste too much time here. But you'll see I'll be able to do this rather quickly. Let's see if I can just sneak this up onto the green. Looks like I can. If I don't, you know, a lot of times I'll just mulligan. Tease and green. We're going to put together a ton of points. And if I can get golden tea points, even more points. So here you can see, I'm just gonna put this ball up in play. And I essentially have this set up kind of mastered, how I kind of know essentially more or less kind of everything that I need to do. I'm thinking somewhere around here, mega sweeping hook. And you can see right on the green, it might just take, you know, some studying of this video plus just kind of getting a feel for it yourself with your clubs. But aside from that, you'll see that we'll be able to get through these rather quickly. And this, this is the toughest hole because you'll have to hit a wide range of shots given tee boxes 85 feet. That's close enough. As long as I'm within 100, I'm just going to kind of go for it, especially on this hole because this, this hole can take, you know, sometimes I'll be able to hit it close, sometimes I won't. So if I can get it on the green and I'm within putt distance, I'm just going to go ahead and go for it and just hope to rely on my putt game, which you can see is letting me down right now. 
So that's three missed putts. And that's going to be four missed putts. So it is a little disappointing to see this, but I'm able to do this. Oh my goodness. This is just ridiculous. So five missed putts. Six missed putts. <laughs> Jeez, I should have just reteed it at this point. <clears throat> so this is kind of the threshold where I should have just, I mean, this putt's just, it has way too much break. The straight ones I can usually get. You know, I won't have to use more than a mulligan or two, but this is just getting ridiculous. It's just bit poor luck more than anything. Because one of the things that I notice about the putting, you'll see that it can never go too far, no matter what. You kind of set up putting, and it looks like I finally nailed it. Jeez, that took way too long. You want to avoid scenarios like that. So if you think there's an easy shot that you can get on the green, you'll probably just want to do that. Now this isn't going to get there. I already know it. So, you, but you can see how fast we can kind of mulligan this and get this back. Put this one on the green and put this one right in the cup. There you can see, nailing it down there, 415. Just going to go ahead and whack this one. That second shot isn't too important. You can't, you can't get point on that second shot, so essentially doesn't really matter. Just put it in play. And with this one, ideally on the green, if that misses, I may go back and do it again because I'm throwing away 50 points essentially. Um, and it's something that I could easily fix with only kind of a 1% difference or just kind of change my alignment there. If I were to just change my alignment, but you can see, just put the ball in play. Same thing. Um, I'm going to kind of play this a little bit short because all I want is it on the green. I don't care if it gets back into that little funneled area. You can see we're just essentially just racing through this set up and I'm able to do at least 10 of these an hour and I'll show you how many oh man that was bad luck right there so we're gonna go one more iron hit it into the middle of the green give herself a long putt but we're able to roll it in so here you can see 5,000 silver that's 18,000 silver in however long that took about five minutes i can easily do five of these or uh, ten of these in an hour so that's 180,000 golden tea coins in one hour for three dollars not to mention especially if you're at like a level 20 you're going to be able to level up like crazy through here too so um at first i was going about three le and the more of these that i get the better but um, at the same time, you know, I'm not going to mulligan because I'd rather get through more rounds. Getting through more rounds as opposed to getting golden tees are going to really what get your score up. So here I'm just going to go three wood this time. Hook it around. Ah, I really could have used just the rough. If I would have clipped that rough there, it would have been ideal. So we're going to do it again. And I'm going to try to maybe do 99% this time. See if I can't clip this rough right up onto the green so you can see little slight alterations just taking and it looks like my putting game is letting me down I probably don't even have to break this one to be honest i can just power through it so that's all i'm going to do same thing here i'm just going to work through this set just one more set just so you can see kind of some varying shots here so this way you have two full sets to go off of. So you'll see that I'll do a lot of times slight variations. As you can see, I'm kind of switching the ball. I don't need that ball to go as far in a tailwind. So I'm kind of laying it up essentially. Just trying to groove it to these yardages that I like. This is way over there. So I'm thinking something along the lines of this. And it looks pretty good. 
So just note the minor changes that I'm doing in my rounds. And this is always the toughest. Never know what to expect here. You can see I'm getting, this is one of the toughest. You can see this tea box is going to be brutal. Um, I'm already going to go golden tea for sure right off the bat here. I'm thinking something along the lines of this. Super sticky ball. Just a little bit of, just a little bit of hook here. And it looks like it's on. So all these mulligans and golden teas and everything are free during this hour. And that's why I'm just trying to essentially just try to get through here as fast as possible. Looks like there it just catches the edge. Uh, you know what? I don't think that's enough. Wind break anyway. I'd like to get this in one shot as opposed to you know, putting it back in that river and needing to adjust. So that's why I was just taking just a little bit more time. But you can see how fast I can essentially rip through this. And this is going to progress your character very quickly in this game for very cheap. You know, about $10, $20, you're essentially going to be able to make yourself one of the best characters. And that's essentially what I did. You know, this is only my fourth version, fourth run through of this. Um, and I was able to, you know, buy half a million dollars worth of um, clubs, upgrade, club upgrades in just the three. You know, I, I, I earned 550,000 of these coins that I was in. And, you know, I'm paying 100, 200,000 for these rebels. So they are very expensive. The driver, the driver specifically is very expensive. Everything else is about half as much, but the driver is very expensive. So this is going to be a way for you to, uh, it looks like I'm just over. Uh, so there it is, slight adjustment. And you can see, you know, you can, you can go back and you can kind of time me. You can see when I started this and, you know, I've essentially done two rounds now um, and you could essentially time it and you'll see I'll be able to do at least 10 of these. I'm going to cut this round off, but um, as you can see, every time, you know, we're going to earn essentially like 1800 silver each time. So good luck with that. I'm going to keep going and hopefully this video helps.